welcome for all those people who are creeping in uh, and my friends whoever's following me welcome to uh, hopefully many adventures and uh, I am a little tired if you can't tell I am sitting in my recliner so the day after I've been uh, looking for a small airplane for a little while now and I found something on uh, barnstormers.com and just learned yesterday that he accepted my offer and so we'll be headed out to New Mexico about a 10 hour drive for uh, picking up this little airplane what it is is a little mini max um, one seater looks like a fighter uh, and I'm going to take you along on the adventure and uh, besides just the flying adventures I'll probably uh, let you tag along with me as uh, we go through a car um, in the process of fixing up so I wanted to make this little short video just uh, again because I didn't yesterday because I was so excited but uh, today I thought I'd let you uh, come in and tag along and have some fun so stay tuned okay so it is the morning of to go pick up uh, the mini max and off to an early start you can tell it's dark it's about a 10 hour drive and uh, we'll just keep you posted as we go hang on still morning still excited it's now light and uh, still nervous thank you to all who made this possible uh, my friends that bar and the trailer and whatnot uh, just everybody along the way so I'll get more things later but I'll talk to you later hey guys a little update um, 40 west and I keep seeing these signs for like Yukon and Elk City Clinton and El Reno I'm Jones in a little bit I'll have to be honest with you I know, right over yonder is Route 66. I'm traveling near Route 66 and not even going to be stopping. Well, I'll probably stop in Adrian, Texas, but it's right there. It's right over there. It's so much fun. But this is going to be fun, too. I'll keep on trucking. He is a uh, famous old gas station back there in uh, Route 66. Down there's the road, if you can see the road. And that's the same place that uh, my friend Dan and I rode our motorcycles on. And that was a blast, so we will do that again. Anyway, quick look at Route 66 right over there. It's a famous old gas station, I don't know if you saw it. Onward. Ow, we made it to Big Texas. Home of the Big Texan. 72 ounce steak of beating you down there. Um, still along Route 66. Had a little bit of gas problem there in Elk City, but remind me to ask that to tell you that story later anyway. So, continuing on, I can't wait. fastest trip of your life to New Mexico um, we're current I'm currently at maybe this will give it away uh, 
Amarillo by morning. No, actually, it's Amarillo by afternoon. We're almost there. Hang in there. Okay, people. Driving by a large cow lot. Cattle lot. Woo! Smells like money. Thank you, money. And this is no joke. Right over here, in the back window, you can see 66 over there. I just saw three people cruising 66 on mopeds. Loaded down with their camping stuff on mopeds. But they're having fun. Alright. I made it to New Mexico. And passing my favorite truck stop, Russell's, probably because it has an awesome inside car museum. And this guy has got a collection of cars that is totally awesome. And he rotates the cars, I think he said every month. So you'll come by every month, I guess you'll see another new car. But closing down to Carry, New Mexico, and next stop, the plane, the plane. I wish it was on the island. Back, and here she is, the old wannabe P40. Tested it out, well, I didn't fly it, but ran it. Runs good. <clears throat> uh, excited to so ready to try this death trap thing. I don't know what I'm getting into. But I'm in the parking lot of Walmart. Going to go get some oil real quick and head home. Hello. It's nighttime. And I am standing in the middle of the street. I know my mom should have told me never to play in the middle of the street. But here I am. Adrian, Texas. No cars. There's the fabulous 40 motel. And this is where I'm staying the night. I'm ready to bed down. End of day one of bringing back. We gotta come up with a name for this for this plane. Um, tiger. I don't know. It's scared me, and I'm fearless. This thing is powerful. I mean, it feels like I'm in a actual P-40 flying tiger. This thing's shaking and smoothed out. And... But uh, took the prop off. I'm gonna show you the plane real quick. Took the prop off. There's the wings. It's all nice and secured on the trailer. It's not gonna be much fun trying to get that off. Then. Uh, Excuse my face. This is where I'm sleeping. In the good old burb that Cindy Pageant was kind enough to let me use. So, anyway, end of day one. Get back with you when we're unloading. It's going to be fun. Six twenty-two a.m. Captain's log. I'm tired. In bed. It's time to get up from the halfway point of uh, 66 and get on home. Unload. Uh, and I do want to tell you, I happened to, uh, while I was traveling yesterday, I didn't mention it. I saw something that I thought was sheep and I looked over and I what it? It's an odd place to be raising sheep. So I looked, I'm looking, it's pronghorn. I'm like, awesome, a group of maybe 20 pronghorn or just right off in this valley, right off the road. And anyway, I thought that was cool. So one more thing to see. So I just got fuel at a pilot station because it was 255 a gallon. 
went to Valero, it was 289. What happened there? This pilot station was nice too. I uh, was standing in line and some guy in a chef's jacket. Uh, this, is, this is odd, the Cinnabon place or whatever to pay for fuel. Come to find out it's a self pay. Say what pump you want and how much, and it's cool. And also, I got this water. I've been turned on to this water. It wasn't as far as price goes. Uh, just right there along the same price as all the other waters, Ozark. Uh, it's called poor hydration, I guess. Probably you guys already know about it, but I just found out about it. Margaret gave it to me uh, when I was loading the plane, and it was very satisfying so thank you Margaret and Glenn for helping me load this plane and um, really appreciate it so hopefully I'll keep you posted this little trip on the way back bye